Welcome back to another scripting tutorial guys. It is the Dev King here back from the video and guys in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you about C frame now some of you actually asked for this tutorial before and uh, Well here it is and um, I just want to say guys. This is not gonna be that easy Okay, <laughs> I don't want to like make you scared. Don't be scared guys. You can get through it Okay, everyone can understand it, but it's it's a little bit confusing at first So if you need to rewatch the video or you need to you know get some more stuff about the topic Maybe you want to read something about it. I will have some links in the description below So yeah, so if you get confused guys just just take it a second to pause and think maybe if that helps do whatever you think is best So yeah, anyways, um before we get into the video like I said always be sure to watch the beginner series first or else this will be very confusing to you so link to the beginner series is in the description below but um yeah anyways guys let's go ahead and start this okay so first things first what is c frame okay so c frame by definition is um a data type used to rotate position through and position 3d objects okay now what that means is Actually, it kind of makes sense, but basically, it's kind of like the vector three value, right? So you know how, you, like if you if you make a part, right? And on the left, you have um, over here, you have position, right? The position is the property that you can change, you know, to move its position, obviously, right? I can move it around with the, you know, typing over here, so I can make that twenty, and then it moves over there, right? And I can change any of these three values, thirty, you know, whatever I want to change, I can make it move any which way. Now, basically, C frame. Does this just that C frame actually does the same thing as position, but it also has rotation inside of it. So if you click on the rotation tool up here and you go down to where's rotation? Um, okay, there it is. Orientation is what it's called actually. If you go to see orientation right here, whenever I, I rotate it, it actually changes the orientation, right? So that makes sense because you know it's the orientation of how it's turned and stuff that way you know how it's turned. So you can change that with a script. Obviously, I can get 60, and that basically is the orientation, and then position, you know, you can do the same thing, and obviously I just showed you that, but you get the point, right? Basically, I can change the position, and I can change the orientation with vector 3 values, but the C frame, what C frame is, is it has both of them inside of one data type, okay? So C frame stores the position and the orientation, so yeah. So actually, I want to show you something real quick. I want to show you something. This might be a little confusing looking, but I'm going to put a script inside of the part, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and do um, print script.parent.cframe. Now look, this is going to look really confusing. Now just, just brace yourselves, okay? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I should show you this, but I'm going to show you now anyway, so <laughs> here we go. Okay, so, okay, that looks really weird. All right, so there, there's, let me zoom in. So as you can see here, I have the position. The, the first three values, right, are the position of the of the part, right? It's 30, 30 negative 31.5, and then I got 0. 0.5, and then 0. 0.2. Now it moved a little bit because I touched it, and it's not anchored, so yeah. But and then the 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 three over here, the orientation, are somewhere in here, right? And now you're probably wondering, well, if it's position, which are these three values right here, and it's also the rotation, which are only three values. Why are there like six more here? Yeah, so why are there 10 total values? Now, honestly, guys, don't worry about that right now, okay? I, I just don't want you to worry about that. There's there's 10 values in C frame in total, but the ones you want to worry about right now are just the orientation and actually there's 11. Never mind, I miscounted it. There's 11, but the ones you want to worry about. Actually, no, there's 10. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there's the ones you want to worry about. The ones you want to worry about are just the orientation and position, okay? So don't worry about that. I'll explain that maybe in a future video one day. But for now, I don't want to confuse you with that. All right, basically all you need to know is that C frame stores orientation or like, you know, how it's rotated or I mean, and the position, okay? So that's what it stores. And a few more things, but that's, we'll get that later. All right, so now you see this part right here, right? I'm gonna show you how to move stuff with C frame and not just in like, you know, not in, um, you know, the workspace or in, the, in the, the thing over here. All right, so I'm gonna move this back to the middle I'll put it in 10, 10, 10. Okay, so it's right there. And actually, that's not the middle, but there you go. I'll put it in the sky a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so this, here's our part right here, okay? I'm going to change the color of it so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, and now we're going to like adjust the part and stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do first is actually get the variable for the part so to make it simple. So local part is equal to script dot parent, okay? And then we're going to do local new C frame 
Okay, which you don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. I mean, actually, you do have to do this, but um, local new C frame is equal to C frame dot new. Okay, now what I just do, all right, okay, let me get rid of this part first, actually. I can create a C frame using C frame dot new, right? But I'm putting it inside of a variable called new C frame. Okay, that's what, that's what I'm doing. So local C frame is equal to C frame dot new, and then we can change the, um, oh wow, that's, that's so weird. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, local C frame is equal to C frame dot new, and then we can put values in here which we want the part to be, okay? So the first three values, so I, I can do like 3, 5, 10. Okay, the first three values right now would be would be would be the position. Okay, so the new free C frame equals C frame dot new would be the position. Now I'm pretty sure I taught you about vector three values, so actually I did. But vector three values, if you don't remember, is like the same thing, right? It's it's position stored in vector three values, and I don't have to name it C frame, but I can name it you know new new position. And then this would be the exact same thing as C frame. I could change the C frame if I wanted to, or vector three, it doesn't matter. It would be the exact same thing. But C frame is more like, it's, it's better to use because you're gonna use it more often and you can change the orientation with it as well. So yeah, anyways. So now we have C frame dot new right here, right? All right, so what we're gonna do is just make it, make it called, you know, or make a random value. Okay, so we're gonna make it three, five, 10. All right, so we're gonna put it three, five, 10. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do C frame, or no, sorry, red block or part, not red block, C frame or part dot C frame, part dot C frame is equal to new position. Okay, that's what it needs to be. I'm sorry, I have some notes to my right because sometimes it, confuse, it gets confusing for me too. But um, yeah, okay. So yeah, part dot C frame is equal to new position. Now what this is going to do is this going to basically change the C frame of our part, this part right here, to the new position which we made in this variable right here. So basically, if you want to, you can picture this this line of code right here. You can also picture it like this, okay? So that's the same exact thing. Um, oh crap. All right, so that's, a, that's the same exact thing right here as writing new position, okay? Because new position is equal to C frame, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just use the variable for now because I made it, and here we go. We're not gonna actually, okay, also guys, one more thing I wanna show you real quick. Um, you, can actually, you can actually run your game without having to spawn in. So I can do run, and it's gonna run the game for me right now. So yeah, see it moved, okay. So it, it's not anchored, let me anchor it real quick, but you get my point. You can actually go over here on the top, hit home, and then change it to run, and then you can just run it without having to spawn in, which is pretty nice. But anyways, let me run the script right now and show you what it does, okay? So it's gonna move it to the new position, which was over here, okay? So that's what it did, all right? It moved it to the new position, which, oh my gosh, I, okay. Which, is, which was over here, okay? So that's what that does. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so how do I rotate it? Now for that, you're gonna use cframe.angles. So let me show you what I mean. So cframe.angles, okay. And then um, we're going to just make this blank. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so this is gonna be a little confusing like I said, guys, stay with me. I'm actually gonna get rid of this variable right here because I wanna keep it as simple as possible. So we'll just change the part cframe directly, not with a variable. So part.cframe, cframe.angles. So this is how you change the angle of the cframe, right? So what we would do, is use three values in here. This is this is still gonna be three values, right? And if you guys notice, I'm not sure if you can see that, but in C frame dot angles, up here it says number R X, R Y, and R Z. So it's saying the you know the 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 you know the rotation, which actually is not what it stands for, but the, of the X, Y, and Z. It it stands for radians, okay? Now let, let me just actually let me write it first and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to rotate it this little part right here. 45 degrees on the, okay, on the, on the, what's it called? The Y axis, right? That's what I want to do. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees on this axis right here. Okay, the middle one, as you can see there. All right, so 45 degrees is going to look like, it's going to look like this, okay? So what I'm going to do is you'd think I'd do 0, 45, 0, right? And you'd think I'd do that, right? But no, you don't do that, okay? <laughs> um, what you actually want to do is whenever you put, like, the degree you want it to rotate, you want to put math dot rad, and then for the parameter you put the degrees you want it to rotate. Now, what is math dot rad? You're probably wondering. Okay, so math dot rad basically converts the degrees into radians, and you're probably wondering what are radians? Radians is like another type of way you can measure angles I, I think i don't know how to describe it but it's like trigonometry which i don't even understand completely i've never been to that i never took a trigonometry class before right i don't even understand it that much but 
basically all you need to know is if you want to convert you know the degrees or you want the degrees to you know to be in your here you need to make sure you put math.rad now okay so more about radians like one radian is equal to 57 degrees so basically what it's doing for you is it's converting degrees to radians right so it's just converting the degrees which is 45 degrees is what we want and we're converting it to that amount of radians which is what this this um parameter wants it wants radians right but this math.rad function does it for us okay i hope that makes sense i really hope it does um, like I said, guys, please pause the video. Pause the, pause the video if you need to, like, take a second to think. But um, after this, I'll have some more information for you later. So don't worry, okay? All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Like I said, if it doesn't, just pause and think for a second. Then play again if you still can't remember it or still don't understand. So now if I run this script, okay, um, what's going to happen is this is going to rotate. And, oh, it moved too. Okay, wait, why did it move? Um, I don't know. Okay, that was weird. But, okay. Anyways, but do you, you see what it did there? It rotated, right? It rotated and it also moved. I'm, not, I'm really confused why it moved to be honest with you, but um, okay, it did. Okay, guys, so I'm back and um, let me just say, I'm sorry, you're probably wondering, it just cut here. Now, I find out, I found out why it moved actually, and I didn't, I didn't want to leave you guys on like a cliffhanger there, just like you know, wondering why it moved. I wanted to know too, but basically, the reason why it moved, right? Well, let me tell you just why. So, I had C frame, right? I had, I made the angles, right? with cframe.angles and then I I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> and then I put it on the new C I put it on the C frame of the part right so I changed the C frame of the part with this C frame.angles thing right and what it did was it moved it down here but it did rotate it. it it did what we wanted to but it also did something we didn't want it to which was move it okay but it did rotate now the reason why it rotated was because actually what it does when you use C frame dot angles is it resets the entire C frame. So it also resets the position. Like if you notice here, whenever I hit run, this the position is actually zero zero zero, which is completely reset to the you know to zero, right? So it resets the position to the basic C frame. Because if you use C frame dot new, right? C frame dot new, you you can actually just use that by itself. Or you can actually print it. And it's just gonna give you look, it's just gonna give you zero 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 you know it's like see but it gives it gives you some ones in there i don't know why but basically the point is it resets the position to zero 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 as you can see the first three zeros the first three position the values are zero so what you have to do to actually fix that is whenever you use angles what you want to do is actually do part dot c frame is equal to part dot c frame and then times the angles right so basically what i'm doing here instead is i'm just actually doing the same exact thing right but i'm adding it to the c frame instead of just resetting completely okay so you're probably wondering why i'm using an asterisk there the times is kind of just for it's not like it's 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 not multiplying it but it's just adding it to it so as you can see here now if i run it it doesn't move at all so let me, let me actually go back to the base plate and show you it doesn't move. It keeps the same position, which is what it was, but it also changes the angles by multiplying it to what it was, which was zero, zero, zero. Now, as you can see here, you're probably wondering, okay, so why does it multiply? But it's, like I said, guys, it's just adding, and um, yeah. So now if we print the C frame, right? Print the C frame, uh, and we run it, we print it before and after. Um, oh, what the? Okay, I don't know why I did that. You know what? Don't worry about that, okay? <laughs> Anyways, the point is, if you print it before and after, um, it does that. And, you know, obviously to make it cleaner, we put it in a variable. But, um, there we go. There we go. And, um, there we go. So now it does the same thing. It'll rotate it. And there we go, guys. So, yeah. It looks pretty cool. I like it. It rotates. And it does what we need to do. Now, obviously, like I said, if you print the C frame, I actually want to see what it looks like. Because... Um, because the values all change, right? Because you're setting the C frame or something. So, okay, the values, I'm confused about the values didn't change, but whatever, okay? You get the point, that's how it works, that's what it does, and that's how you rotate it. So, yeah, and also, guys, in case you ever see something else, um, I want to show you something else, too. In case you ever see this, um, from Euler Angles, X, Y, Z, it's the exact same thing as, um, C frame dot angles. It's the exact same thing. Okay, so we see from Euler angles, which people probably won't use because it's kind of looks kind of dumb. It's the exact same thing as angles. Okay, as you can see here, equivalent to from Euler angles x y z, and then from Euler angles y x z is just the same thing, but the rotations are applied in a different order. So yeah, so it's a different order. So don't use this unless you want to confuse yourself. 
but um, yeah. So yeah, that's what it does. Also, one more thing about Seafoam is I actually want to show you too. Um, let me change that back. Um, see from angles is actually I'm not sure if I should show you, but I'll show you. Um, let me see. Okay, so basically, if you want to, okay, let, let's say you have this part right here, right? First of all, let's get rid of the angles because uh, we don't need these angles anymore. I'm tired of these angles, man. Okay, see from not new, and then we'll just make that um, ten. Okay. Anyways, so if you so you have a part here, right? If you want to actually just move the part, like you don't want to like change the whole C frame and um, but let's say for example you're scripting something, right? And you wanted to move a random part in the workspace by 10 on the Z axis, right? So you wanted to move it by 10 and let me get the do I have these okay, by 10 on the Z axis, so this way, right? So you want to move it by 10 this way, so to the right, okay? Um, what you would actually do to do that is actually just what's called offsetting, which basically means you're going to just add a C frame to it. So what I'm going to do right now is add 10 or multiply, which is the symbol you want to use, to the C frame right here, and it's going to move to the right. So as you can see here, oh, actually moved upwards because I have it on the, the the 10 axis or on the Y axis, which is my bad. But you get the point, right? It moves. So how you do that is just like I said, you just have the C frame and then you multiply it to um, to something like that, okay? So that's how it works. Also, um, it's the same exact thing with the radiance, what I, what I just showed you, right? Um, so yeah, and also one more thing I wanna show you too, is you know, remember I, talk, remember I told you about vector three values? So I had vector three here. Now you're probably wondering, okay, so what if you wanna add 10 to it with vector three? Actually, what's weird, because with vector three, you actually put a plus sign and it does that. See, as you can see here, and then it'll move to the right with vector three. But if you use the star with vector three, the script is like, what the heck's going on? And then it, it gives you an error, right? It expects you to use three frame. So yeah, basically that's what it means. And uh, yeah, anyways, you're, learn you're learning about C frame in this video, so I don't know why I showed you that. But yeah, also one more thing too, I want to show you one more really cool thing. Um, Actually, never mind, never mind. <laughs> okay, um, that's pretty much all you need to know about C-frames though, guys. We will be using them in the next tutorial and tutorial after, but it's gonna be pretty simple, okay? Learning about it in the first place is kind of difficult, but after you know it and after you know like, this isn't all C-frames, like there's a lot more to it, trust me, but um, this is like the basic stuff about it, which is pretty much all you need to know for now. But um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, like always, be sure to leave a like. Well, actually, you should do that instantly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, I, I hope that did make sense to you guys, like always. Please be sure to jump in the Discord server. The Discord link is in the description below. And leave any comments you may have in the questions, uh, or leave any questions you may have in the comments. I'm sure you guys are going to be a little confused, but it's okay if you are, guys. Like I said, I have more resources linked below. So anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'm so excited. I'm glad I got this out of the way, guys. It's a bit of a confusing one, so yeah. Anyways, guys, peace out.